All right, let's bang out another video. We are just going to continue with the bow combat system that has been also requested for such a long time. Um, so yeah. Ba -ba -bum. What was I saying? I had something to say, but I forgot. Anyway, uh, please like and subscribe if you're new to the channel, uh, because that makes you an awesome, awesome person, and that also makes me very, very happy. Um, and uh, as always, like, subscribe, all those normal stuff that people do on YouTube. So we're gonna set up the aim rotation, aim space, or whatever you wanna call it, aim blend space. We have the bow. We equip the bow. We can ADS. We can change the position of the reticle to actually aim, but the character is not following along. So basically, that's what we want to do now. So I've done this before, but I don't really remember. So I might pause the video every now and then to do some math or stuff like that. I don't really remember. We'll see. I do know that we're going to go to the event graph. And we're going to go to our up, up, bam. Where is it? We have a look up, don't we? Yeah, there we go. Because basically we want to look up or down. Uh, so that's what we're going to use. What's this boy is following? Okay. So we're just going to separate it a little bit. So after we do this, we also want to... Um, Set a variable called aim rotation. Make it a rotator. Uh, and, oh, sorry. What? Can I have two variables called the same? Didn't know that. Uh, split the struct pin. So basically, it's the yo. No, it's the role we want to use. The role should be yes, up and down. Uh, so let's do it like this. I'm not sure this will work, but we will start with this, and we will improve it until it works. Basically, so this is. A variable called aim rotation that we now have. It's going to be set whenever. So in our um, in our event graph, or actually in our animation graph, uh, here is where we're going to modify the bone basically. So we're not going to do. We're not going to use a blend space. You could use a blend space as well, but we're not going to do that. Um, we are gonna. Where do we do it? We can do it here. I guess. It doesn't really matter. Let's do it here. Uh, modify bone. Transform modify bone. Uh, promote to variable. Call it aim rotation. So go to select your transform modify bone node. Bone to modify should be spine zero one. So basically, what we want to do here is we select spine zero one. You can see that spine zero one is the one that goes this, 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 this. So this is basically what we want to do when we're aiming. If we are looking down with the reticle, we want to go down with the character. If we're looking up with the reticle, we want to go up with the character. So that's why. So select spine zero one. Uh, rotation mode. Add to existing. And I think component space is good. We will see. We might change it later if it's not working. Um, actually, this is local to component. Okay, yeah, 
I don't. So if we do IK and stuff, that should be here as well, but we're not going to do that now. So like that. We're also going to promote this one to a variable called aim alpha. Uh, alpha. By default, aim alpha is going to be zero. So it's going to basically, when the alpha is zero, it's just going to ignore this all the time. And then we're going to output. I think that should be fine for now. But what we need to do is in our. So now we need to get this information to the. Uh, um, blend to, to the animation graph, basically. So we have the right mouse, mouse, mouse button. So in order for this to replicate, we need to add a custom event called server set aim alpha. Make it run on server. And we have this is aiming. Actually, we already have this is aiming, don't we? So frick that one. Is aiming. It's a rep. Do I use it? Where is it? So we have this is aiming, which is already a rep notify. So let's use that one. So when we are aiming, we wanna we have this animation blueprint reference already. We also wanna set animation uh, uh, set aim alpha to one. And when we stop aiming, oh no. When we stop aiming, we want to set it back to zero. So if the alpha is zero, it's going to be ignored. If it's one, it's not going to be ignored. Uh, so let's just see how that looks. Uh, we are, oh, sorry. We are not setting up the rotation. I just realized we didn't set that up, so it's not going to work. Nothing's going to happen. Um, because I'm a little bit unsure about how I should do this. So basically, we want to get this to. We want to get this to the animation blueprint. So we want this to set this. The same rotation. But this is a tick event. So we don't want to do it like all the time. So I guess we will start by doing a branch. If we are aiming. So we will only set it if we are actually aiming. That's a good start. Now, how do we get this information to the animation blueprint? Is it fine if we do like this? It's not. I'm. I'm Pretty much 100% sure this is not going to work, but let's try it. Replicated. And on here, we get the player character. And get aim rotation. So this would work if it wasn't multiplayer. But it might still work. Sometimes it does. So basically, we are const. This is also bad for performance. We do it with some some things. You just have to do it with. We do it with the speed. We do it with the direction, uh, with the falling and everything. But basically, the event blueprint update animation is a tick event. So this is triggering all the time. This is a op uh, a very optimized tick event though. So it's it's better than the event tick. But still, uh, we do want to avoid setting variables here. But since it's 
it's gonna need to be updated frequently with this like up and down we could do a fun maybe a timer function for it but i think this is the most performant way to do it but generally avoid using setting variables directly from the player like this you want to use like event-based code and not tick-based code basic stuff but might as well say uh we are setting the in rotation let's just see what the flip happens um, I'm, I'm fairly sure it's not gonna work but we have a starting point so nothing is happening which i do think is a little bit weird so let's let's print let's print a string and see what it says and this is how i always solve my errors i just print strings everywhere until i find find the issue so it's zero 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 which it shouldn't be or wait it should be now it shouldn't be because i'm naming and you can see the oh, but it's pretty much zero one of the variables is changing a little bit get control rotation is this going to work set it to the control in the role of the control rotation instead of because this i'm not really sure what this comes from to be honest and um, maybe this will work i think we should use the actually the control rotation that's better But then we might as well do that in the and let me pause and, and figure this stuff out so I don't waste your time. One second. Okay, that was a very quick pause. I just remembered we should use the control Y pitch, the pitch of the and set the role. So that that works, but I'm gonna show you the issue here. So as you can see now, we're aiming down, but the character is aiming up. And when we're aiming up, the character is aiming down. But you can see that it's clearly working, so that's good. So what we need to do here is multiply by minus one to reverse it. And that should work. Bam, ta -da. Awesome, right? That's that's a really good ABS thing going on right there, and you can see the character is falling in the reticle, and it looks like we're actually aiming at stuff. The problem is I don't think this is replicating, so let's check. Uh, how do I check? Like this. You can see her character there. As you can see, it's not replicating. And uh, that's pretty much expected but at this point because we're not set actually setting this on the server. Just replicating it isn't enough. Uh, we need to actually set it. So let's create a custom event. Call it server set aim rotation. Uh, and we'll do like this actually we need to set it on the client as well so first just like this so this is basically setting it on the client without replicating it or anything uh, we still want to keep this re replicated because right now we want to server set aim rotation i'm not sure blah, about the performance of this I'm, I'm not really super keen on using this one but i can't find it actually let's let's not do this because this is also we could do a function for this because we're not don't actually need this one this one is only good because it's, it's makes sense to do it on the lookup 
axis because we're actually doing up and down. But we could just do a function for this as well because we're not using this axis value. So but I'm not sure because this creates a check every because this this tool here does need to be checked every second. So this is like super optimizing. So but. Let's let's not do it. Just or or just let's keep it simple. Let's keep it simple. Don't optimize stuff that don't need to be optimized. If you want to optimize this, I would probably remove this branch and just create a timer function instead. And whenever we ads, we just whenever we ads, we start the timer function, which which updates this maybe every zero point. 0 0.5 seconds or 0 0.1 seconds or something like that and it should run a little bit better but yeah it's it also might lag a little bit when you actually go up and down so this is a good solution let's do it like this mm, we need to set this as well just do like that and pass it through so now we are setting it on the actually this custom event need to be run on the server make it reliable So now it's running on both the server and on the client. So we can avoid actually, uh, this is a little bit more performant than actually doing a multicast. So this is fine. And let's see. Uh, should this is smaller. And let's see if it's working. And you can see that it's working now. And it's looking quite good, right? And it's naturally, yeah, maybe the, maybe we should clamp it, but no, I don't really care. This is good. It can be like this. You could clamp it like, say that this is the maximum value. And as you can see there, you can see that the rotation is maximum minus minus 30 or something you could do clamp it to minus 30 and something like that that but i, I i'm just going to use the full, full motion you can see that if we move around it's looking quite nice so yeah <laughs> so in the next episode we will do the uh, ammunition, what's it called? The arrow. We can fire the actual arrow and that should be fine. Um, yeah. Good. Uh, for once, actually, a fairly quick video. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And okay, thanks. Bye and good night.